Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Blind. So, in the last episode, we finally took out Mr. King Guy, because he was kind of scary and he was making me really, really nervous. Um, and in this episode, we... I don't know what we're going to do yet. I, Rightly, I have no idea what to do next. So, we get, we're going to open these treasure chests here. That's what we're going to do. That's the first thing we're going to do. Because for some reason, I guess I never went back through and opened all these... Like, I thought I explored this area pretty thoroughly, but apparently all these treasure chests have yet to be opened. I was so relieved to get here that, hey, 5,000 gil, I'm okay with that. That was also a delayed reaction. Um, and 6,000 gil, whoa. Okay, so is that all here? Yeah, that looks like all. Uh, I don't think I need anything else here. So I'm going to be smart, I'm going to play smartly, and I'm going to use teleport to get my ass out of here. Also, my mouse was in front of my screen there for a second. I hope you couldn't see that. That was kind of weird. So yeah, spin back into a being, Cecil. And now we can go... somewhere. Um, I think this right here is a good idea. Except for the fact that apparently we can't... I, I think I've had that problem before, not being able to land there. Alright. So... Oh, I can get into a battle there, though. And with Hell Flappers. They just look like Venomoths. Uh, ninjutsu... Why don't you do... Katan, do the fire one. Yeah, might as well. Um, Cecil, you can just whack him. Whack him for all you've got. Rydia, we need to get you more HP somehow. You do not have much HP, and honestly, it terrifies me. Because you also don't have much defense by proxy. So you are an easy target for death and destruction. And Cold Snap. Cold Snap, what is that? That is... It must be a move in World of Warcraft that mages have. That sounds, that sounds correct to me. Um, something like that. I can see the icon for it. It's a little, it's a little ice thing that looks kind of like a diamond, but it's made of ice. I digress, however, that is unimportant. Cave of the Sylphs. No, this is not the one I want to be at. I've done that. There's really nothing for me to do there. I found Yawn. He was like, yo, dog, I'm Yawn. I'm still here. And you guys were like, I should go see his wife. However, I don't know how to get to his wife. Uh, yeah, this is where I came from, right? No, this is not... This is not where I came from. I was on an island. Uh, is this the sealed cave? Sealed cave? Yes. Okay. So... Do I still not have the key? Uh, Luca key. Yay, okay, 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 okay. We are making progress. Finally. And I hit my microphone there a little bit. I'm sorry. I also did not emphasize the M in microphone. It just kind of came out like I hit my microphone. Oops. Okay. We're getting somewhere, though. I don't think we've been here before. I went on the wrong side here. We can't jump that gap. Are we gonna go tightrope walking down here? Is that what I saw? <laughs> is that what this is? Tightrope? It is! Oh, no. That's a one-way trip, apparently. Oh, 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 okay, so that was a rope we climbed down. Apparently we do not have the upper arm strength to climb back up, however. Uh, treasure chest, what do you have inside? Monster picture book. Okay, well those are actually pretty convenient. Because even monster... A trap? No. <laughs> the door is attacking us. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with this. Targeting. Well, in that case, Kane, we're just gonna have to make you jump so he can't target you. Um, jumpy jump. Jump before he attacks, please. Or not. Dimension 9? What? <laughs> oh my god! Suddenly, death. Death became him. Or he became death. Either way, he became... Becoming death, that would be, that'd be quite a thing. Um, okay, so bring him back to life. This door is just the craziest thing ever. <laughs> its teeth, especially, just look freaky. Because they're not all, they're not lined up all nice. The ones on the right stick out, like stick forward, more than the, well, the ones on the right from our looking. Like, his left teeth stick out more than his right teeth do, it looks like. I did not see who he targeted there. Someone is about to die. Um... Oh no, not Rosa! Rosa needs to survive, though, because she does the healing stuff. Um, okay. Leviathan, let's try you out. I should have summoned Azura on Leviathan. That would have been the funniest thing. Why didn't I think of that? I'm so disappointed in myself now. Whoa, holy god! Wow! Holy god! That was... Holy god! <laughs> Oh, 5,000 damage! That was... a lot. 
Um, that, okay, sorry, that just kind of blew my mind there. Um, I was just kind of sitting there watching, being like, oh, this looks pretty neat, and then it, and then it just blew everybody to hell. And back. Evil head. Well, you're such an evil head. That's like the worst insult you could possibly imagine. Okay, so, R Rosa, you need to do some healing here pretty soon. Oh, that did, like, no damage whatsoever. I'm not so worried anymore. Oh yeah, these bats. They're just like the other bats. They're just super annoying. <laughs> because they take so long to fight. Oh, and blood suck. That makes... That's a consistent sucky thing that happens. I forgot about that. Okay, let's just summon Leviathan again. I want to see that again and see if that just happened to be like... That door was weak to... Weak to Leviathan? Or what's going on here? Okay, so I'm gonna drop a massive heal on Rosa so that she can live another day to drop a massive heal on... Kane. Okay, so moment of truth here. And it's multi-targeting still, so that's good. Uh... No, that's just how much it does! Holy cow! Okay. Well... Well, wow, okay, that's fantastic. That kind of makes me interested in what Azura is going to do. Also, why don't we heal while we're out here and not getting blood sucked? Um... Also... Rosa? Oh no, those are all in battle magics. I was like, why can you not cast all these different things? A sight? No. For some reason I was thinking that might cure blindness on Cecil. Even though I knew, like, doesn't it show you the map or something? I was just hopeful. For forgive me for hoping, I know. Okay, so Ether, this was just, this was a big trap room, and also that's not a secret at all. I thought because I went into the wall there, I'm like, ooh, secret, secret, secret? No, Chutasta. Uh, we have a Miss Vampire over here, or possibly another word that starts with vamp. Um, I, is there, are there any other words in the English language besides vampire that start with vamp? Besides, like, derivatives of vampire, like vampiric and stuff like that? Um, vamp. No, the only other thing I can think of would be, like, to revamp something. But that doesn't start with vamp, that ends with vamp. So, okay, let's try out... Oh, Ashura targets us. Okay. Well, sure. Let's try it. See what see what happens. So choose random face, and then holy cow, that's like a full... That's fantastic. I wonder if that brings me back to life. If that brought me back to life as well, like, say... Say Rosa was dead and I just used Ashura with Rydia and that brought her back to life, even if it didn't bring her back to full health. Oh man, that would be like the best thing. Okay, so... There's really no reason for me to leave this battle in. I mean, I guess we do have a new Miss Vampire over there. However, besides that, we're just fighting these really, really annoying, long-winded, uh, evil heads. <laughs> that just, that just makes, that's... That sounds like something a uh, third grader would say. Like, you, 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 kind of like butt face or something. You butt face, you evil head! Something like that. that that's what I think of, at least. Uh, please die, Mr. Evil Head and Miss Vampire. Uh, it is both your times. Okay, goodbye, Miss Vampire. You were hanging from the ceiling. You're also kind of cute. Um, but you're a vampire, so it, it just couldn't be. I'm sorry. I also have, I have... I can't take the vampire fang. I have no room. Okay. Well, that was not gonna happen then. Not meant to be. Uh, now where? Over here, that's where. I also already have, um, a number of people, including Rosa and... Okay, I definitely climbed the rope that, that time. Another- why do the doors keep attacking me? I am just going to jump with Kane, and then I will use Bull 2. Why are you such a bitch with Dimension 9? I almost said Dimension 9 is now Diamonds. The old Spice guy, he's kind of hot, well he's black. What am I singing? This has nothing to do with this song or this game! Okay, so did I, did, did I get 10,000 experience the last time I killed one of those magic door things? Because I definitely just got 10,000 experience for that, and that kind of was fantastically crazy awesome. Uh, what is the term for it? Yeah, crazy delicious? No, they're magically delicious. That's what Lucky Charms is. That's pretty much what that experience was right now. I mean, 
10,000. I can't think of any battle, even any boss battle in the entire game that has given me 10,000 experience. Uh, oh man, we have more, we have doors inside doors here, doorception. Th these doors attack me too? Oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening? What just the hell? Suddenly, Chimera out of nowhere. Okay, I do not like this. Leviathan, come to my rescue. I don't have Rosa right now. I was just sitting here, just beating on the door, just like last time. Wow, blue fire. Okay, and holy cow, Cecil, do you have, like, something weak to fire on? I'll have to take a look at your equipment here soon. Um, hopefully, Tsunami will be doubly effective, however, because he just used a fire spell. Um, no, but it was still singularly effective. Okay, and I only got 7,000 experience that time. So sad, bad dad. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what happened there. However, if we walk in here... There's nothing? This just smells like a secret. A secret? However, I can't seem to find one. And I can't... I'm just sitting here mashing the A button, hoping something's gonna happen. But no. Nope, nothing's happening. Okay, then. Well, in that case, let's do some Healy Healy here. And I also need to check Cecil's equipment, that's right. Okay, so equipment on Cecil. Ice brand? But that... Oh, no, his body armor is ice. Okay, that was like... Ice brand? That doesn't seem like that would make him weak to ice. But I have no other armor for him. So, that's just how it has to be. <laughs> Why would I even bother healing? I'll, I'll make sure to kill the door faster next time. I mean, everything he does one-shots me. Why would I bother with bothering? Another trap! Ooh, who would have guessed that? Alright, so that door only gave me, like, 10,000, or it only gave me 7,500 experience, and I already got that chest. And that is because I just did a stealth edit, because I died the first time fighting that guy. I just stopped reviving people, because I'm like, oh, he'll die. And then he summoned this next guy, and the next guy just kicked my ass. So, now you know. <laughs> that, that's how it went. I do not want to fight you right now, because Cecil is still dead, and I have low HP. Please run away. Quickly, if possible. Uh, that means quicker. Ugh, blood suck is gonna take forever, because they all have to go through it, and I just do not want to fight you right now. Please, please let me go. Let go of my ankles. Thank you. Okay. So, I should probably bring Cecil back to life once more. Man, I bought 99 Phoenix Downs once upon a time, and I am just burning through those. I wonder if I'll actually use them all by the end of the game. Because I have no idea how far through the game I am right now. None whatsoever. No idea about anything, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, I know that I'm in the sealed cave, but I have no idea what's at the end of it. There's so much I don't know. And it's funny, because like Final Fantasy VI, um, when I was playing that, I always felt... Well, I didn't always feel. However, I generally felt like I had some sort of plan for like the episodes, each of them. Like, I was like, okay, well, at least I know what to do next episode. Light curtain. That's going to be probably, what, like a reflect thing? Uh, sure, I guess I'll exchange it for something. Uh, what don't I need? Probably don't need mute arrows. I'll just put those in there. I wish it really put those mute arrows into the chest. That would be really awesome. Um, but alas, it does not. Oh, wait. That I, I didn't mean to go down that at all. Cecil, why did you do just go down there, do a little dance, and then move on? Oh, and they heard my cry about the Phoenix Downs, and now they're giving me more. Also, I just have to fight more doors now. Huh. And that time, even though I beat the door and the monster in the door, I only got 7,000 experience, so I don't even know. I'm just mashing the A button here and nothing's happening, or whatever button it was on the Super Nintendo. Guessing an A button. Well, no, let's see, A, B. Probably the B button, actually. Oh my gosh. And that time, I only got 6,000. I don't even know what's going on. Also, I was really hoping for a save point, kinda. Ooh, Light Sword. Uh, I will trade that for my Ice Brand, most certainly. However, I have to get rid of something else. Damn, I need more inventory. I ought to go visit that ghost at some point. Or not that ghost. What am I even saying? I, I was thinking Chocobo, but also I was thinking Gishal's vegetables. Somehow it came out ghost. I don't even know. Um, please tell me there's going to be a save point around. Hopefully through the next door. Because um, I am running out of magic like it was no thing. I also have, um, I did use an ether last fight, I've been kind of holding off on using my ethers just in case I need them later down the road, but later down the road is right now, so, here we go again. <coughs> Ooh, tier 4! I learned, uh, 
Cure 4. I, I learned it. Yay! What is that? How much does that cost? What does it do? Cure 3, 18. Cure 4, 40. Holy cow. Okay. I'll throw that in that place for a hold. In fact, I'll switch there. Cure 4 is now the first thing. I'm assuming I'm going to be using that a lot. Also, I should probably bring Kane back to life. I'm being dumb here. Um, I know this isn't too boring for you. I'm basically just sitting here going from door battle to door battle to door battle. Uh, did I even go inside there? Yes, I did, because that was the light brand. No, I didn't. I didn't even go inside the door. What is wrong with me? Uh, oh, that's a long name. Hellwind Shruken. Uh, or sh <laughs> you can No, 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 not like that at all. Goodbye, Ruby Ring. I have no need for you. I should probably have sold all this beforehand. However, that would constitute thinking and, and forethought, and I do neither of those things. Uh, and a li another light curtain. Okay, no secrets? No secret? Surprising. I really was expecting a secret there. And I fought you, Mr. Naga Rushers, in many another cave. And you have been summoned endlessly by little guys who summon things, like you. And or spiders that cause earthquakes. Those things are summoned, too. Next door, another day, another door. You gave me life, you gave me doors. I will say, though, all these doors are giving me plenty of experience. Um, I think also that last door we went, we went in was three doors down, if I do recall. Stop giving me battles! Aren't the doors battles enough? Ooh, at least we got first right, so we can, we can escape a... Escape diem. Es escape the day? <laughs> Not quite sure why you would want to do that. More like carpe escape. Um, but I digress. Uh, let's actually, you know what, let's try Cure 4 out at the beginning of this battle. Just see what it looks like. Uh, I should have used an ether outside of battle. That was dumb. Let me use an ether right now instead on Rydia, because I'm basically... Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing to beat these doors as quickly as possible. Why did you have to target Rosa, you bitch? Damn it. Uh, okay, you do your Dimension 9 thing. There we go, okay. Now I will bring Rosa back to life so we can try Cure 4, because that's the only reason I'm really showing this battle, is just to show off how I take this thing out, and this is totally not the streamlined way to do it right now either. I don't even know if I'm going to get to show this Cure 4. Okay, Cure 4. Go to town. Oh, okay, I will. Let's see what it looks like. Holy, that's the biggest thing ever. Also, that, that didn't heal for much more than Cure 3. Cure 3 did, did it? Doesn't Cure 3 do, like, 800? That, I mean, that did... I mean, I guess that did a little over a 1,000 towards 1,200. Well, if it did 1,200, which I don't really recall, that's a lot. So, I'll give it the benefit of the benefit of the doubt this time, and I can't talk right now for some reason. Uh, save point? Yay! Okay. Well, after what is now almost half an hour of recording, like 26 minutes, um, it is time to take our leave, unfortunately. Um... Use a cottage here, but next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Blind, because um, that was like, I was, I was totally taking a departure from how I normally do my outro. Next time, we will probably finish off the sealed cave. Normally, the save point is a pretty good indicator of when you're halfway or a little over halfway. So, until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.